Welcome back strangers, today we're going to discuss the abominable snowman, also known as the yeti, a strange humanoid creature that is thought to live in the Himalayan mountains in Asia. Eyewitness accounts say that it is around 6 feet tall, weighs between 200 and 400 pounds, and is covered in grayish black or reddish brown hair. Be sure to stay to the end of this video for another clue to what is going to be inside the stranger danger box that we are giving away at the end of this month. The Himalayan people have had legends of mythical creatures living in their mountains for thousands of years. The Mirka is a wild man that local legends say that anyone who sees one will soon die or be killed. The Boon Mankey, also known as the Meti, or more commonly as Yeti, is a man beast, sometimes translated as jungle man. Often a yeti is a warning sign or a figure of danger in local legends, a reason to stay close together and safe within the community by avoiding the dangers of traveling alone and wild animals. When Alexander the Great conquered the Indus Valley in 326 BC, he demanded to see one of these mythical beasts. However, locals told him they were unable to bring one because yetis cannot survive in low altitude areas. These local legends were mostly forgotten by the outside world until modern times when westerners began traveling to the Himalayans. In 1921, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Burry led an expedition up Mount Everest. Afterwards, he told journalist Henry Newman of an unexplained experience his team encountered while scaling the mountain's north face. He said his men noticed unknown dark shapes moving around in the snow above them. When they reached the area where they saw the shapes, all they could find were large human-like footprints in the snow. Newman published this story and soon adventurers from around the world wanted to climb the Himalayans to try to catch their own glimpse of the mysterious abominable snowman. In the 1950s, Yeti fever exploded when Eric Shipton, a highly respected Mount Everest climber, discovered and took photos of unusual footprints when he was searching for an alternative route up the mountain. These footprints looked human-like but were massive and had a thumb. The Daily Mail published these photos in 1954 along with an alleged photo of a Yeti scalp which got the attention of Edmund Hillary, the first recorded person to summit Mount Everest. Hillary launched his own investigation into the creature with the focus of discovering how they live at such a high altitude. Tom Slick, an American oil tycoon, spent six months with over 500 porters and bloodhounds in an attempt to be the first to find hard evidence of the existence of the creature. However, no one could find definitive proof of the existence of the elusive creature. In 1983, Robert Fleming Jr. led an expedition into the Barun Valley in Nepal, India an area believed to be the ideal climate for yetis and the site of the most footprint discoveries. The expedition did encounter yeti-like footprints as the others before them, but their local Sherpa guides suggested that those prints were actually from an undiscovered species of tree bears that lived in the area. Unusual skulls discovered and brought back from the expedition were later confirmed to be from a single species of Asiatic black bears. The Himalayan people also have legends of bears such as the Mishi or man bear and the Dute or cattle bear that supposedly live high in the mountains. Most evidence of the Yeti come from sightings and differing reports and blurry photos of shapes and footprints. Edmund Hillary died a Yeti skeptic, but he did discover his own set of mysterious footprints and brought back a supposed Yeti scout from a monastery high in the Himalayas. The scalp was later determined to be made from the hide of a cero, a goat-like animal that lives in the Himalayan mountains. Tom Slick's massive expedition did collect an unknown feces sample thought to be from a yeti. The sample was discovered to contain a parasite which could not be classified. Cryptozoologists have used this as an argument that animals have their own unique parasites, indicating this unknown parasite may have originated from an unknown animal such as a yeti. In 2017, researchers analyzed nine different yeti specimens, including tooth, hair, bone, skin, and fecal samples, collected from sites around the Tibetan Plateau and Himalayas, from caves, monasteries, and other sites. Eight of the samples were either from Tibetan black bears, Asian black bears, or Himalayan brown bears, and the ninth was from a dog. What are your thoughts, strangers? Do you think yetis exist? Do you think people are mistaken rare bear sightings? Be sure to let us know your theories in the comments below, which of course will enter you for a chance to win the Stranger Danger box that we keep hyping up to that we're going to give to one of you lucky strangers. Finally, the next clue. This item has been used for divination since the late 1800s. We will include a bit of light reading material of the essentials of the item that will help you understand its significance. Thanks for watching, strangers. Leave us a like if you enjoyed this video, and as always, stay strange.